Hi everyone. Hi. I'm I'm B. I'm T. This is our dream, our purpose, and we're back again. I know we've been away for a little bit. Um, just with the holidays, it's really tied a lot of things up. Uh, and also had a little uh, project been working on for some time now, uh, and really took up uh, a lot of the garage space. Uh, you're going to see what that is here in just one moment. Yeah. Wait for it, wait for it. Oh, see that bump and that shocked look on my face? Yes, I might have bumped it. Let's watch it again. Yep, that bump right there. Me trying to figure out what I just did and realized I didn't compensate for the bucket. And here's the damage I did on the corner. Not perfect, things happen. So this is why you haven't seen some videos for a little bit. I've had this in the garage. I actually took the whole front bucket off of it, arms and everything, um, and was working on it. This is a 1963 Ford 4000 Industrial. I've talked about it a little bit in one of the previous videos. Uh, this is my dad's. He's had it for about 25 years, and it's ran once in the last 20 years. Um, so it, uh, and when we got it running about 10 years ago, blew a hydraulic line. So we knew we were going to have to replace quite a few of them. So, uh, went through and replaced seven different hydraulic lines. It is a six volt system, converted it over to a 12 volt system to help, uh, just ignition and everything seems to be a lot better. Had somebody recommend that, I'm a big fan of it. So instead of seeing a, uh, you see a alternator down there instead of a generator, uh, all new wiring for replaced hoses, a lot of things. So it's been a project in the garage, it's taken up a lot of space. It has not given me the opportunities to film other videos. So, uh, now we've got this out of the garage. Um, we'll be able to do some other videos. And you'll see this in the future. Use it quite a bit. Ignore the paint. Um, it's just playing around while we're working on it. So you'll see a little more of this in the future, and we'll go from there. So first of all, you'll hear me sound out of breath. It's very cold outside. This is one of the coldest days of the year so far. Uh, but on top of that, uh, just want to show you some of the different things, projects. Uh, here's a carburetor after it's finished uh, tore it apart didn't really tell anybody about it. it was the first time I'd ever torn a carburetor apart like this uh, so I really wasn't uh, taking a lot of credit for it until we see how it turned out how it worked uh, so completely tore it down had a rebuild kit cleaned it up uh, put the rebuild kit on it and uh, put it back together it seemed to turn out okay um, again these are just some parts that I cleaned it's running uh, working well uh, I say surprisingly, but, uh, you know, I just try to follow some of the basics and see how it is. This is, uh, it finished up. I really focus on the inside. I might this winter, this next winter, take it off and put it through an ultrasonic cleaner. Uh, this is just my line to my fuel tank. It had clogged completely up just with the old gas. So I took it off, replaced, uh, the valves in it. Uh, the tubing really got new replacement parts for it. Made it a lot easier, uh, for this here. And I talked about the wiring. I converted it to a 12 volt system, but here is some of the wiring you saw the old. We took all of that out and replaced it with new. Uh, and still you're gonna see some videos of us uh, trying to get it running. I had a lot of family over that real help with it. Uh, so we'll show some of that and then I'll talk a little more. It might have come off with us oh, trying to put it on and off. Uh, you, we can leave that. Yeah, don't go out there. Yeah. 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 
filter right here. I felt it when I was holding, I tried putting a screwdriver in the wire, but I didn't pull the plug out. This is me looking at a, a owner's manual. Um, mechanics manual. I did a lot of different things, looked at a lot of things. I had a lot of help, son, son-in-law, uh, brother-in-law. Finally had my uncle actually came over and found the problem with a um, part in the distributor. Um, so we were able to replace that, found out what it was, replaced it, and this is what happened then. First time hearing this thing run, I am overly excited. Thank you for the help I had. So this is a tractor without the bucket and the arms on it. I had that in one part of the garage, this in the other. What I was just talking about there is now I'm actually going to pull it back in so I can actually put the bucket back on, make it one unit, uh, make it usable, hook all the hydraulics and everything back up. And this is the final product of it actually running. You saw this video earlier, but this is me pulling it out of the garage. Unbelievably happy with it. Uh, it will go to great use. All right, so you got to see the video. Um, not a surprise. I did talk about it in one of the other videos, but uh, this tractor is something that we're going to be able to use quite a bit um, around here, uh, help us with some of our future projects uh, and, and some work to do to the property that we want to do. It's real special. The tractor special because it was his dad's. Yeah, that's one thing. You'll see a lot of things we do, um, there's meaning behind them. Mm -hmm. uh, some things we do to have fun uh, with our family and our kids is why we're doing it. Um, and some things has a lot of meaning with this being my dad's. Uh, he's owned it for 25 years, really hasn't done a lot with it. Uh, it's a good opportunity to step in and uh, just get it going. And there's a hope that uh, I can get my dad out on it. We get it actually uh, in a little warmer weather and it running perfectly so he said he would he said he would so we'll see yeah uh but uh with our dream our purpose with our channel we have a lot of things coming up um mm -hmm. you guys will still see the melting i uh, hopefully have a video coming out next couple days with that um our goal was to get back to as mentioned uh mondays and thursdays posting videos so uh, sorry we were gone for so long we just had a lot going on and you know we like to do pretty adventurous things so yeah we don't excited. we don't always video everything you know with this tractor we videoed part of it but not all of it um just because uh we knew it was going to be a bigger project i uh, could have done a couple different parts but um i was involved with working on it and not videoing as much so but uh uh hope uh you guys enjoyed what you saw again just this was just trying to bring you back in let you know that we are back into it um We'll go from there. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that notification and uh, like, like, subscribe, comment. uh, go comments helps us build. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for thank watching you. us.